Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tech and Deals by Kashish. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate to all those who have cleared the first round of Hack with Infi 2025. Good job, people. And I also want to mention those who were not able to for whatsoever reason. People, don't get demotivated or upset. Placement season has just started. You just keep preparing your DSA and you'll be getting another opportunity soon. So keep going. Now, let's proceed with today's video, which is about uh, interview preparation for Hack with Infi for both SP as well as DSC roles. Now, uh, I want to say one thing here that this video can be referred by other people also who are preparing for technical interview. Since uh, other than that tech specific interviews, all the uh, technical interviews uh, carries the same type of uh, pattern like DSA would be there, core subjects would be there, um, resume projects, all those things would be there. So we are going to mention all these in this video. Now, let's begin with the first and easiest part, which is introduction. Any interviewer of any company is obviously going to ask you about your introduction to introduce yourself. So your introduction should be short, confident, but customized. What I mean by customization, you should not make it boring that having your uh, education, you belong from this and that. No, try to add on your achievements, if any, your certifications, if any, your hobbies, if any, and... Um, yeah, that's it. Your interests that you can share with him or her. So this should be your introduction because a good beginning will lead to a better interview. Okay. And uh, that's it for the introduction part. Now let's proceed with uh, one of the most important part of the interview that is your resume. Resume should be very, very well structured because it is going to tell your interviewer that what you have done, what you are good at then on the basis of that your resume uh, interview will be preceded okay so what your resume should consist of it should be well structured first of all next uh, like our resume carries a lot of information our education part project part if internships are there then that part our certifications or achievements right so uh, i would suggest that try to put the best of yours on the top what i mean by that uh, if your CGPA is better than your projects, put your education part first, then projects. If you feel like your CGPA is fine, but your projects or your internship experiences are amazing, you should put them first. Okay, so keep that structure in your mind. Next, uh, when we are talking about projects, keep it in your mind that don't try to put minor projects in your resume, like tic-tac-toe application or uh, some clone application, no try not to do that until unless you have add, added some uh, new features in that. So don't do that. You should have at least two major projects in your resume. Also, when it comes to your projects, you should know what you have done in your project, which tech stack you have used, what was the business uh, problem, how your solution is helping. These questions you should be able to answer. And uh, other than that, if you have any uh, certifications for example you have any aws or course era certification or any other certification which is relevant in terms of tech or in terms of your interview do put it in your resume okay try to make the resume of one page only because we people are freshers our resume should not exceed one page okay now i have covered this resume part in nutshell if you feel like that uh, you need any help with this further you can put it in the comment section or over the telegram page or even if you want a resume template for you you can tell me the same in the comment section i'm not able to answer instagram requests because uh, there is certain glitch from back and itself from instagram only i don't know why i'm not able to do that so yeah you can put the your queries over telegram or in comment section so now let's proceed to the heart of the interview, which is the DSA. Very obviously, I'm expecting that if you guys have cleared the first round of Hack with Infi, so you people are decent with DSA. But at this point, I would like to say that brush up all the concepts, all the data structures and algorithms, um, practice as much as you can. Now, um, most of the juniors generally ask me what would be the level of questions. Uh, would be somewhere between easy to medium very rare chances are there that you may encounter hard questions. Now, uh, if you want me to specify the topics, I cannot do that. You should be prepared with all the data structures, but generally it happens that it can be from linked list, it can be from strings, it can be from stack queue, like I'll mention all the data structures, but yeah, you should be good with trees. 
there are chances are there that you will see the questions in in interview but you never know so i want to suggest and i want to request you guys to actually prepare all the concepts okay now now of uh, you people might be in confusion that uh, are sp people and ds people going to have same interview yeah somewhat okay but uh, what can be different in your interview is the level of ds questions uh for example sp people can expect a bit tougher questions as compared to ds people or vice versa like uh, ds people can expect easier questions as compared to sp people okay that is the only difference that you can witness in your interview other than that everything will be same because as i told you earlier this is how technical interviews happen okay now there are two things that i want to mention they are the secret sauces which i'm going to spill out like i'm just kidding but yeah this is something uh, me and my friends always follow uh, number one thing when you are solving or uh, attempting dsa questions in your interview keep one thing in your mind that you have to give a brute force approach firstly even if you know the optimized approach reason being at times when your interview asks the follow up it generally uh, it is generally to optimize that particular solution and if you will give the optimized approach directly then your interview will not be stretched right and according to me the longer the interview goes the better is the interview okay so quality of interview is directly proportional to the duration of interview as per me okay i don't know if it is real or not and the second thing is if you are not able to solve the question like you are not able to write the pseudo or uh, not able to uh, get exact approach then i would like to tell you that never ever tell your interview that i'm not able to do that never tell that it may give a very negative impact to him or her what you can do instead whatever you are getting in your mind for that particular question you just put it on the paper and try to explain that to your interviewer interviewers are generally very nice they sometimes the most of the times help you by giving you certain hints okay so try not to tell him or her that i'm not able to solve it i am not able to think of any solution try to think some of it try to put it in front of him maybe your approach is right you are stuck somewhere he may help you with that and then then your questions will question will be solved and you may also clear the interview okay so never ever directly say that i'm not able to clear the uh, question i'm not able to think of any solution okay now lastly uh, and which is important and not more important at the same time uh, it's about core subjects when we talk about interview there are four core subjects that we need to prepare one is dsa os cn and dbms now you might be asking ki bibi jitna 4 saal mein btech mein padha utna padhna hoga no tumhe basics pata hona chahiye tumhe important topics pata hone chahiye for example if you talk about oops so in oops you should be able to answer ki what are the four pillars of oops theek hai in os you should be able to answer what is the process error thread and uh, scheduling like if you want me to give the topics which you should know in all these four subjects i can share it with you guys just comment this in the comment section and uh, if you also want some uh, not notes reference or demo questions i can share that also just do let me know okay so that is all i wanted to mention in this video i don't want to make it extra overwhelmed by stretching it out all i wanted to share is what you have to prepare since so many people are asking me that uh, what we have to prepare what we have to prepare it's very simple just maintain your calm don't lose it the things i mentioned your good introduction resume your projects should be able to answer what your project consists of your dsa very obviously and the four subjects only five things are there and you're good to go to ace your interview so that's it keep coding keep studying thank you for supporting tech and deals by kashish bye bye